Good evening, and thank you for joining us um, for our information evening, um, which is in the online format this year. Um, I just want to say a big welcome. My name is um, Sean Aldred. I'm head of Key Stage 4, um, so it'll be your point of contact um, that you can make throughout the year if you have any concerns or anything you want to raise. Um, just to remind you, there is the online contact form, which is still available online um, through the website where you found these links. So if you have any questions after this evening um, or think of anything as we go, please feel free to email that. That'll be live for another week. And then what we'll do is we'll compile all that information together and then we will basically put a question and answer page on the same link website page um, that you found the links and the links to these videos. Um, obviously, my part of this evening is to talk to you about revision and how we're going to support and how you can best support your child in the um, coming months towards their mock exams and also into towards their actual real GCSE exams, which will take place as far as we are aware at the moment in May, as per usual in the new normal schedule that would happen in the exam season. So the first GCSE exam is scheduled for the 14th of May um, 2021. This is obviously provisional, but the point of this is letting you know that um, it's only actually 33 um, weeks away. It isn't actually that long, and we want to start thinking about this now for our students and helping them prepare, get ready, and be responsible for, for their own learning. And so um, prepare them in a readiness for it so they can be supported by us um, through different ways for intervention, but also supported at home so you as parents or guardians um, know how best to help students in this time. Also um, to inform you that we are going to have a series of mock exams. Our mock exams run from the 9th of, um, of November to the 20th of November. It's over a two week period, so it sort of mirrors the actual um, way exams will be held usually. Um, this is in only an actual six weeks time. So again, we want to help your, you to help your child um, prepare for these exams. Um, the best way of doing this is to uh, give you lots of advice, lots of tips, and ways that we can, we can support your child through this process. Okay, it's all about revision, but it's, it's not what you do, it's the way that you do it. Ultimately, we all revise in different ways, we all obtain information and restore that information in a different way. Some of us are more verbal um, and can listen and then just take things in, some of us can see stuff and remember and lucky enough to have uh, photographic memory. Others need to re regurgitate, repeat and write stuff down. So it's all about finding the right way for you, right method for your child, so they can actually support their own learning and improve themselves. My biggest advice to anyone is do not repeat stuff that you already know. The best plan of action is to highlight, do a rag rating sheet. Um, most subjects um, staff help them by creating these sheets and then they can judge where they have missed any knowledge or gaps so they can bridge those gaps, okay? This happens towards any exams. I do it within my subjects where we rag rate and where the stuff that is not fully understood, we can then recap those areas and help the students um, improve in those areas rather than we focus on areas when actually they already know. The best course of action to start off with is to draw up a revision timetable. Research shows that shorter 20 to 30 minute spells work best because concentration is much higher. Therefore, we recommend taking frequent breaks. It's, also, it's not just about revise, revise, revise. It's about actually giving you time to actually regurgitate and take that information in. We also advise to mix up subjects rather than spending a whole day doing one subject over another. That's where we end up with mental fatigue and it, we, we struggle and it actually wonder whether we're actually taking the information anymore. Within the pack that I'm going to give every student in year 11, there are examples of revision vision timetables and also within their planners that they were given at the start of this academic year. So we've, we've tried to give them um, resources which are readily available so they can take home, adapt, use straight away or create their own from, from these kind of resources to give them inspiration. Exercise. Exercise is, is vitally important. Getting outside, even if it's walking the dog, um, going for a 30 minute jog, 
um, go, go just to get outside, get some fresh air. After a day of revision will make a huge difference, not just to well-being, but to your be able to restore information and, and take that in. It's, if you put yourself in a room and just try and read or regurgitate and try and repeat information over and over again, at some point you'll end up with mental fatigue. Physical activity increases the heart rate, which makes the blood circulate faster. This in turn ensures that the brain gets more oxygen, increases productivity, while reducing the tiredness and stress that may come with this period of time. Students need to find a quiet space, whether this is somewhere they can set up in their bedroom or somewhere where they can set up somewhere else in their house. It is not always best to um, put it in a space where there's distractions such as a television or other such things. Saying that, a lot of students um, may benefit from listening to quiet music while they revise. So again, it's down to the individual, but mobile phones and things like that, where you're easily distracted, easily end up on a, on a tour around the internet, clicking link after link or watching videos on social media or such like, is a massive distraction and will easily deflect them from, from their studies. Research, research shows that you're likely to do all the planned work if you start early, because as it gets closer to the evening, there's a bigger tendency to go outside, try and see other people and um, basically communicate, whether even if that's on, on social media. Past papers. Most um, students should be given past papers, will be given um, these kind of opportunities through mock exams. And nowadays you can actually download um, most past papers from previous years from straight from exam board websites and you can have access to that. You don't need a teacher account or anything like that. In terms of um, the emphasis on exam technique and simply familiarizing yourself with it, with the paper, then you know the structure of the exam before you get to the actual exam room. Again, this will be relayed in mock exams as real exam past papers will be used so students can get used to the format and the way that they are actually being assessed. A lot of examiners do not bother with inventing terribly innovative new questions. Once you've done three or four past papers, the chances are you will see a question that won't be exactly the same, but it's most likely to be very similar to one that you've already had. Um, therefore, if you practice these papers, you can then practice the kind of answers you might actually be using in the real exams. Get help. Obviously, we don't want to read teenagers' minds as teachers. We were teenagers once. We don't really want to go through that experience again, as much as it's a challenging and, and a, a very interesting part of life. But if we don't know what where you struggle at and you don't do your rag racing sheets properly or you don't talk to us, ultimately, we don't know how we can best help you. It's, if you give us the information, then we can give you feedback. But you can always help ask your friends or family to test you and test your knowledge as well. So this isn't just asking us as teachers and staff, it's asking anyone around you who can help you. Those of you that are doing the same qualification, it's easy to test each other. And then you can see where there's gaps in knowledge. And actually, it's probably one of the better ways of learning. It's not only a good way to revise, but it's also a good way to have a break from the hard work as well. And also talk to your friends who are in a similar situation. Rewards. Now, we want you to do well in your exams, but obviously in life you get rewards for things. And this comes back to go, having space, having an exercise, giving yourself breaks too. Now this should be factored into your timetable. Give yourself the time to actually relax, talk to your friends through social media, um, give them a phone call. People who manage to find the right balance between study and leisure are the ones who end up getting the top marks. For instance, going out with friends after a productive day of revision or treat yourself to something sweet. Obviously, this is might slightly more challenging in the current climate, but obviously you can still reward yourself with an interaction through the internet, playing a game or even a treat or something like that. Remember, it's about working hard, play at the same time, reward yourself, but not quite as hard at the moment. Once your exams are over, you will have more free time and then that balance of working hard and focusing on your studies can then be reverted to having a little bit more social time before you take on your next challenge in life. 
I'd like to thank you for listening to my presentation today. Um, just to reiterate, all these presentations will be available online um, on the website and the, and the actual contact form and question form will be alive for another week to take any questions. Again, you can email myself at uh, um, head of key stage four at gputc.com if you have any questions after the um, contact form has gone from our online site. We will be sending out um, links again, just to remind you to the question answers, to the answers to the questions that you have basically submitted. And hopefully um, some of you will be able to join us for the live session between 6 and 6.45 this Thursday, uh, Thursday the 24th of September. So we can answer your questions and some of the questions we've already been sent directly to, uh, directly in that period of time. Um, basically, I'd like to thank you for listening once more. And again, um, we will be giving packs to students regarding revision and other such tips which they can bring home and show you and if we can support you in any other way please do let us know